So you're not considered a venture capitalist. You're considered an angel investor, right? Is that is that does that delineation mean pre-revenue uh, or just very early, early stage before the venture capitalists come in? Jamie, that's such a great question because there has been such a change. When yeah. I first started this, there were two groups, I guess three, because we never recognized friends, family, and fools. But uh, the first investors were the angels. Now, of course, we recognize that it's your friends that uh, ordinarily supply the first bucks. And then we would feed the venture capitalists whom we all knew. There weren't there that many of them. And the ones we liked that we thought would uh, help our reputation and the companies, we would feed to them. It was a great chain. Uh, that chain was broken 10 years ago. And now it is so convoluted that to explain it in a single podcast would kill you. But let me try a little bit. Friends and families and fools, accelerators and incubators, uh, which you probably know to be uh, professional organizations that sometimes put a little bit of money, $25,000 maybe, for a piece of a company. And then they run them through, run the uh, entrepreneurs through a uh, series of lectures that they call classes. Uh, Then come the angels. The angels are very rarely pre-revenue now, although occasionally they are. Uh, They've gone upstream because they've been damaged too many times. I'll give you some numbers in a minute. And then from the angels uh, come not any longer the VCs. It's the micro VCs. Micro VCs are the old employees and partners that have split off from their VC firms that now raise small funds, 40 to 70 million, and they invest anywhere from 500,000 to a million and a half maybe 2 million. And then come the VCs who have moved so far upstream, you can't even see them without a binoculars because they were putting a partner on the board of every company they invested in. You can imagine how that would split the partners and require them to have more than just a few boards. And so they began investing not just the usual 2 million, uh, but 5 million and 10 and then even more. And then there is private equity and there are a lot more variants, but that's it. That's this new landscape that is just so hard for people to understand when they say, I've got an idea and I don't know who to send it to. Uh, 